welcome to the part 2 of the playwright uh, with page object model part 2 of the series let's get started so we have two pages available login page and the dashboard page available to us let's do one thing because i told you right page okay we need to create a page function for this okay where we will basically filling the details of the login uh we can make one function which is called as public uh let's make it void function it basically do a set username right it's giving us example so string yeah, let's say user okay and what it will do is this will whatever that you already have like page dot fill like whatever the username that you gave us it will just fill Good. here if you just pay attention to this right this is really important uh this one let's make it use uh this one is different and this one is different okay so we are not actually utilizing it so let's change the name use the name passed like so okay and here okay so that uh we have a different user this is a locator this is the way also similarly we have a set password so here we'll say password uh and here we'll say username pass and we'll say password pass okay so that we know what exactly is passed <laughs> right awesome uh again thing we need cl click also so you can also uh, also do one thing you can create a simple function uh okay here you don't uh so what we will do is basically we will do uh call for first function which is set set password uh before that we call self username what is the username that we want to set so this will we'll call this one uh, this function which is user usr let's say short form for this okay uh, pwd so username is usr will pass uh, pwd will pass and uh, here i'm going to use directly page dot click Uh, right because we all enough of the small small functions right uh, submit button so button right we have it so we have clicked this side this one i'm going to add a wait not wait right not here uh in dashboard what will happen is i will call this function which is called as uh let's call it uh Okay, so here let's call it public boolean verify. Okay, is welcome message. Uh, is user welcome? Let's say this user welcome. This will be our function. And what this will do is uh. Okay, so. now uh, we are at here so dashboard we have completed now uh, so dashboard welcome text we already know and i have added one function which is is user welcome and i have added page dot wait for it wait for selector is visible then it basically means it will return a uh, that uh, user is welcome right and here if you say do login we are setting the username password and clicking it so nothing fancy just do login function uh base test uh, base class i have uh, basically added here now uh, i think uh, let's do one thing let me explain you guys uh, this is this will be very common for you how to write it uh, i'm not going to write it from scratch but it's very easy what we are doing is we are basically creating instance of browser type uh playwright uh, first of all playwright browser type br browser context browser and page five instances that we need in the first function launch one we can mention what is the name of the browser that you want and if you required uh, headless yes or right uh, we will basically do a create session if browser that you have mentioned is chrome we will basically say that we will call the function playwright.chromium if you say it's a webkit we will basically call the webkit if you say headless true we will set the option to headless true if you say not true it will say this thing right we are setting a viewport to match the size 
and we are just closing the context afterwards and uh, we are just creating a new page after and that's it right very simple and in the url function whatever the function uh, whatever the url that you basically tell us it will open navigate to that url and it will wait for the network idle this is already available guys uh, so if you go to my github my github account uh, i'm going to share the uh, direct repo with you guys also so look for this repo you will see all the code admin, right and here i have just added one more uh, check for the selector selector uh, this is just a selector on the login page here uh, let me log out again Okay, so here is a, it's a little. So, uh, so this one I think I have. Okay, okay so similar one I think. Uh, let me check which one is this. So that you don't ask me. Okay, the image, image tag I have. Okay, so when image is loaded, I mean my page is loaded. That's what I have. In the close, I am closing everything. That's it. This is just a base test class that we are using, that we will be using it. In this. Uh, so again, a uh, very simple one. I have added this functionality where I have just called both of the page objects. Now we need to call what we call as before suite. So we're going to call before and the afterwards, right? Let me copy paste from this one so that uh, we are little we are not typing because we are not typers. We are actually uh, code coders. So before class, what I am doing is I am passing a parameter. What are the parameters? I am passing browser name and headless. So I am passing that uh, this is the login page. Uh, I am pa parameter I am passing, right? And here if you see I am passing from and headless is equal. Uh, so headless we are passing as a false here, yeah. right? right? And I'm going to call the launch playwright function of the base class. So make sure you extend this because if you are not extended, uh, extend this, this, then this function will give you error. And we are launching the URL, right? Here you will see the magic now. Uh, we have initiated the login page. Uh, similarly, we will initiate the dashboard page also with the pay page object because we need to pass the page so that uh, it's uh, available to both of them. Uh, here I have added username and password. We need to add that one to the very basic one. Login page. What is the name of the function that we need to call? We will be calling this one. So in page, if you see do login, right? We'll, it's available here. So here we can pass username and password. And what is the error that we are getting? We are getting error because it basically return void. Actually, it doesn't return anything. So we'll say okay, don't return. Now, second thing is after logging in, we need to basically call this uh, is user welcome. And uh, there is no parameter I mean, for this one, right? There's no parameter, only we'll check for the welcome text, that's it, right? And here, if you see, it will return something and it will return if the login is success or not. Okay, so this will be a Boolean, right? And here we are basically asserting it. Make sense? And closing the para, uh, playwright where we'll close everything. Very simple, very uh, straightforward test case. Uh, and here, if you see, we are getting error because this has to be the class. That's all. Right. Now, let's do one thing. Let's quickly run this. How do you run this? I have added test priority as one here. Right. So, and uh, you can basically, if you go to the edit configuration in IntelliJ, you can directly call. Uh, uh, create a test in the configuration where you add a class and method as a login test or uh, most of the time you will see there is a run button there right right click run local test and we're going to start the test now let's see how our test case basically performs okay so both two per page objects we have already created where we will first load the first page where we will log in into this we'll first check the image to load so image loading is done username password will enter now and we'll basically move to the dashboard where we'll see hello wingify and that's it right and if you see right now the flow is happening and awesome cool so our test case passed uh you can see the things now interesting thing is how do you see the report you will see html report here automatically available uh, click on this icon and here you have the test reports created by test uh, report ng for you okay 
So you, this is actually uh, automatically created by dot report and we can use another uh, reporting mechanism also. I generally, we generally use report and be easy to uh, test it out. Uh, okay, so all the code available here on the Playwright Java form. Okay, so you will be, uh, you can see that. And uh, you can uh, do one more thing, which is basically logged in utils. You can uh, call this methods to log your responses and you can have a retry mechanism also. So we'll add more things to this framework. I just wanted to show you the simplest way to add a Playwright Java. Uh, all right, uh, I, okay, awesome. Uh, I hope this is clear, guys. We have covered everything. So we have covered page object, this one, this one, this one, this one. Awesome. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope uh, this uh, see this uh, page object model is clear now. If you have any uh, doubt, you can call. Uh, you can uh, comment down below. I'll be happy to help, guys. Uh, I'll see the right videos. Check out more videos of Playwright Web Automation in the playlist section. Thanks a lot. This is your promote. Let's see you next time.